at Aim Day 2023. I'm with Jim from Sons of Liberty Gunworks. We've got some cool stuff sitting here on the table we're going to talk about. Let's kick it off with these muzzle devices. Yeah, so our series of muzzle devices, we call the Knox. For years, we've had um, the 6-port and the 9-port Knoxes for both 5.56 as well as uh, 30 cal. We've been expanding that line slowly, so now we have a, uh, we've got a 2-port brake for 5.56 guns. Um, we're going to have that for 30 cal as well soon, I do believe. New on the table today, we've got our AK Knox. This is a 14-1 left-hand thread, um, so I believe that's our most common thread pitch for AKs. So those are going to be shipping momentarily. Um, and then we also have our new bronze heat treat Xeno mount. So this will work with all those, uh, the, the Xeno suppressors that are out there from dead air. Um, and it's a bronze heat treat on it. This is for 5.56. Five, that's in a half by 28 thread pitch. That's out there. Our, all the colors of our, our Liberty charging handle are out there as well as our, our brand new narrow latch charging handle. Um, so we had some folks that wanted something that was a little bit less snag prone. If you're wearing a lot of bulky kit and stuff like that, you're worried about the gun coming out of battery. A low profile can be a good option for you. Right. Um, that said, you know, LPVOs are super popular and uh, most folks do like the, the protrusion, the, 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 the grab they've got on their standing charger, standard charging handle with, with a larger objective optic um, right. sitting over top of it. So personal preference, whatever, whatever works for you. And then you were talking about the barrel here. This yeah, yeah. So we've got these. Um, we've got these in stock ready to ship. So this is a 16-inch SPR profile barrel that we have. It's got our new polygonal rifling that's inside of it. Um, this has a 5/8 by 24 thread. So that's something to pay attention to. Um, we're getting a little bit better accuracy out of these than if you're using a half by 28 thread up here. So mostly uh, 30 cal muzzle devices are going to work on this. Something to be very careful about. But this heavier contour is uh, is is one of the best shooting barrels we've ever tested. So. Guys at the shop are, are routinely getting that well under one MOA and all the testing. Um, really one of our test nice guns, barrel. yeah. That one in seven twist. One in seven nitrided, so really good velocities on it. Really corrosion resistant. And just if you're if you're looking for kind of squeezing the most out of out of two two three performance, that that profile right there will do it for you. Okay. And then I've seen you guys got your your hand guards down here and. Yeah, yeah. So we're we're well known for the seventy six. Um, rifles we came up with the 89s maybe like a year year and a half ago whatever it's been and so we get a lot of questions about what some of the differences are so i um i brought out some of both to show and the 76 handguard right now is that clean perfect match on our broadsword upper receivers um that's our match billet receiver we do for for guys that are, are really want those, those super stiff precision guns um but wanted to showcase the difference here between barrel nuts so guys could see um what the differences are here the m89 is a little bit heavier weight um, that said, it's a lot simpler to install and a lot more robust. The mounting hardware, you've got three cross bolts that go right through it. They're not very torque sensitive at all. Um, you have two anti-rotation tabs that sit on either side of the upper receiver. And then there's a steel dowel that goes into there, just like the M76 has as well. So that'll key into any of the, any of the, the modern upper receivers that are built to accept that dowel. The 76 handguard is a little bit narrower. It's a little bit lighter weight. That's our wedge lock design. Um, that uses two small little set screws that, that come in through here and those kind of index into that notch there on that barrel nut. So this is a little bit more sensitive to install. It's a little bit lighter weight. Guys with smaller hands tend to like it. The, the one drawback that I've noticed is when you're shooting a lot, it tends to get warm faster because it sits closer to the barrel. Sure. That M89 is just a little bit larger um, in circumference and so you get a little bit more thermal insulation when, okay. you're, when you're doing that, that high round count shooting. Very nice. Well, Jim, I want to thank you for taking the time to do this. No, and uh, yeah, a lot of great products. Uh, where's the best place to find you guys? Yeah, I mean, well, we're here at AIM Surplus. Yep. Um, you know, we've got dealers nationwide, um, you know, on, online brick and mortar as well. Um, and our parts are carried by a lot of the big distributors out there. So your local mom and pop gun shop can, can kind of get our stuff from us too. So you know, our website, we're, we're redoing right now. You should be seeing some exciting stuff um, soon and it should be a little bit more accessible in the future too. Awesome, so, man. It's great talking with you. You as well. Thanks for your time. Check out Sons of Liberty Gunworks and we'll see you on the next one.